Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. I have another box full of dinosaur toys that I have just recently received now. Luckily, these local classifieds, which is basically you search through Craigslist, the Facebook Marketplace, and things like that, and I try to find different people that are selling a whole bunch of dinosaur toys for real cheap, and I have gotten some more. Now, I think I paid about $30 for all of these. Seems to be the going rate lately with these boxes of dinosaur toys I keep finding, but I got a lot of good ones, so let's take a look. The first one is the old school Schleich Brachiosaurus, and it is pretty much brand new, has the tag on it and everything. Forgot how nice this guy was. I do already have him, but man, the paint job in this thing is beautiful. Along with the incredible sculpt and detail on it. Really, really beautiful Brachiosaurus. It's also very heavy. I also got the old Schleich Triceratops, which is also pretty much brand new. Has the tag still on it. In great shape. Not the best Triceratops figure in the world, but it's still pretty nice. The Zyconia by uh, Schleich, another very old figure that is long discontinued. Also has the tag on it, in pretty much like new condition. Very, very cool. A Papo Spinosaurus. He's also in very good shape for the most part, but He's actually missing something here. His tongue. How in the world that happened is beyond me. How do you rip out a dinosaur's tongue? So Mr. Spinosaurus somehow lost his tongue, which means that I'm going to just probably repaint him or something, but I don't really have even the slightest idea what to do with him now that he's missing his tongue. I don't have a clue. If you guys have any idea of how that might benefit a figure or some kind of cool diorama idea or something, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll try that. The old Safari Limited Velociraptor. I always loved this figure. I think this is like my third of this figure, but can't get enough of this guy. I actually, now that I have so many, might probably repaint him and give him a, a different look because it's a beautiful sculpt in my opinion. I really, really love it. Another Safari figure. One of their big Velociraptors. Very large. I think they're a part of the Great Dinos collection. But he's in very good shape as well. I was psyched to find this guy. A giant Carnal Taurus. I believe the company that makes him was Jasmine or something along those lines. But I never had this one. And I, being a big Carnal Taurus guy, love having anything Carnal Taurus. And although he's a little doofy looking, I like him. I think he's very cool. So definitely awesome to get this guy and he's also in very very good shape he's got a little bit of a chip of paint on his horn and a little chip right there it looks like on the side of his face but that's about it maybe the little chip on this horn too I guess but overall he's in pretty good shape there are a lot of big figures in here there's an old Safari limited Apatosaurus actually this is probably one of the Carnegie figures yes it is but unfortunately this one definitely has seen some play it's got some wear on it, but it's nothing terrible, just the face has a little bit of a... It's been a little beat up, but it doesn't look terrible, especially from a step back, you won't even notice it. And it might be something I could probably touch up. And that Apatosaurus also comes with its kit, which is also in pretty decent shape. Another old Schleich Brachiosaurus. This one is an even older version than the other one, and also in really beautiful shape. Definitely a cool figure. Also very heavy as well, just like the other one. And then another great Dinos figure by Safari, which is the Triceratops. I always did love this sculpt. I do have this guy already, but I'll take two, maybe repaint one. I kind of get the feeling that the other one I have is a slightly different coloration. So uh, if it is, I'll probably just be keeping this one the way it is. An old Safari Stegosaurus with a very cool coloration. Definitely an old school sculpt but he still looks very cool. And for the longest time, I actually thought there were two different variations of color of the same sculpt, but they both came in this box, and I was wrong. They're not exactly the same sculpt. As you can see there, they look very similar to each other, but they're not exactly the same. 
but both in uh, pretty decent condition. Little scrapes of paint stuff here and there, but nothing terrible. An old Safari Limited Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's also got a little bit of paint wear to him. Beat up a little bit. But again, nothing absolutely terrible. I could probably touch him up a little bit. Make him look like he's as good as new. Safari Limited Parasaurolophus. Very old school one. Again, beautiful looking. Doesn't look like there's even a, a scratch of paint anywhere taken off of him. Safari Limited Elasmosaurus. Also in pretty good shape, but the back does have uh, some significant paint scrapes and stuff on it. Again, nothing that couldn't be touched up a little bit. And I actually don't think I had this guy before, so it's pretty sweet to get him on such a good deal. One of the craziest Safari Limited figures I've ever seen is this ridiculous looking old Pteranodon. I know absolutely nothing about this, but he's pretty beat up. But I guess he holds his significance in history being a Safari figure. Another old Carnegie Safari Triceratops, a different one. We're really getting back there as far as Safari goes with this guy. Old Safari Limited Spinosaurus. Very outdated sculpt, but still pretty cool and in really good shape. An old Safari Limited Platyosaurus. As you can see, the majority of this box was all Safari. With a little Schleich dabbed in and a few randoms. An old Safari Limited Tyrannosaurus Rex, another of the old Carnegie line. Very old school look and feel to him. Got some paint scuffs, but again, nothing absolutely terrible. Maybe right there on the face is a little roughed up. But again, I might be able to touch him up, who knows. Then there's the most random thing in the box, which is this very strange Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton. It's really, really quite strange looking. And I imagine you wind this up and he probably walks. And one of the best features of the box is this old Safari Limited Myasaur, which I always wanted but never was able to get. The only downfall to getting him in this box is that he did not come with the nest. Well, I guess it would be she. But she did not come with her nest, and that's a little depressing. So I'll probably still be on the hunt for this guy, or girl, and uh, hopefully I'll eventually find her with the nest. But for right now, I'm pretty happy either way to have this. And when I do get the one with the nest, then I'll just have two parents, I guess, for the nest, which would be pretty cool to see. Either way though, psyched to have it. So again, this is a ton of dinosaur figures for only $30. I love local classified finds. The stuff you can find is really amazing sometimes. There are so many amazing dinosaur finds out there just waiting for you to discover and you never know what you'll get. And obviously, when you do find one, you can sometimes get one heck of a good deal because this is a lot of dinosaurs, especially a lot of retired ones, for such a good price. So check your local classifieds. Like I said, you never know what you'll find. And please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.